Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about leading zeros in front of your values in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Mia from Annapolis, Maryland, one of my gold members. Mia says, I'm new to Microsoft Access and I have zip codes from some of my customers that start with zero. Whenever I display them on a mailing label, I'm only seeing four digits. I know in Excel, you could type in a single quote to keep that leading zero. How do I do this in Access? Well, Mia, I can always tell the people who send me in questions that haven't watched my Access Beginner 1 class yet. So the first thing I'm gonna suggest you do is go watch this. I know it's four hours long, but I cover all the basics, including the answer to this question. So I know a lot of people think they don't need it because they've been using Access for a while, or in your case, if you're brand new to it, go watch it, please watch this. I cover all the fundamentals. It's free, it's on my YouTube channel, it's on my website, go watch it. I do have a scaled down version available as well. On my YouTube channel, I've got a 30 minute how to use Access video, which is kind of like a jump starter because some people have told me they don't, they don't want to sit through four hours of video. So go watch this one if you don't want to watch the full one. I'll put a link to both of these down below. Okay, now what Mia was saying was, if you are familiar with Excel, if you're typing in some zip codes, let's say 14226, uh, 33909, 90210, and then you've got uh, 01234, you lose that leading zero because Excel's storing this data as numbers, right? With a number, you don't put a leading zero on there. So you can force Excel to treat this as text by starting out with a single quote, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. And then it will leave it there. Now notice it lines up on the left side of the cell. Right there, that should tell you that's text. It's now a text value, okay? Now the thing with Excel is you could type whatever you want willy-nilly anywhere in a spreadsheet and Excel for the most part doesn't care. With Microsoft Access, however, you have to be a little more detailed with what goes where. You have to define your fields, right? Your columns, your fields. And there's, you know, you can set rules as opposed to Excel, which you can just type whatever you want. All right, so let's go back over to Access. Now, here's my tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And I've also got videos to teach you how I built all of this. I'll put links down below. And if you look in my customer table, all right, I've got a zip code right there. And you can see that it handles leading zeros just fine. Okay. Why is that? Well, let's take a look in design view. And notice I'm storing zip code as text, as short text. Why is that? Now, I talk about this a lot in my Access Beginner 1 class. Basically, if it's a value that you're ever going to do math on, right, you're going to add up a bunch of zip codes, you're going to you know, find the average of a bunch of zip codes, then store it as a number. That's fine. If not, if you're not going to do math on it, store it as text. Text is easier to deal with especially if you're dealing with people from other countries, right? You get some customers from Canada or the UK, they've got letters in their postal codes, okay? So a zip code with that's only numeric, you can't, you can't store that data, right? So making your zip code or your postal code allow text, it's just, it's, it works, it's, it's easier to deal with too. But in case you do wanna keep this as a number, and some people do, let me show you a way or work around here. All right, let's delete that zip code. Let me come down to the end here and I'll make a new zip code field. We'll call it zip code. All right, we'll leave this as a number. All right, save that. Now, come over here and I'll put some zip codes in here. 14226, that's my old zip code back in Amherst, New York. 33909 is where I'm at now in Cape Coral, Florida. 90210, I've never been. <laughs> and then 01234, and there, there goes my, my zero, it went bye-bye. All right, now how do I leave it so I can still see that zero in here? Well, we can use a format. All right, so back to design view, click on the zip code, come down here where it says format, and you're gonna type in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 zeros. What that says is a digit goes here, and if there is no digit, put a zero there. Okay, I just did a video last week, I think, on uh, formatting currency. It's the same thing with currency. I'll put a link to that and my format videos down below. All right, now once you type this thing in here, you get this little pop-up that says update the format everywhere a zip code is used. 
that means it'll go through, it'll propagate this format throughout your forms and your queries and your reports and stuff. So if you wanna change all the things that are already in your database, you can do that. I'm gonna skip that for now since it's a brand new field. It's a brand new field that means at this point forward, whenever I make a new form or a new report, it will pull in this format automatically. Okay, this is just a propagated in case you change it. And that's in newer versions of Access. So let's again save it and come back over here and take a peek now. And look, and there we go. We can see we got our leading zero on that one now because I told Access, I said, you gotta always show five digits there, okay? But again, my recommendation for zip codes, social security numbers, anything you're not doing math, right? Use text, use short text. And again, I talk about this in a lot more detail in my Access Beginner Level 1 class. It's free, it's on my YouTube channel, it's on my website, go watch it. Even if you think you don't need it, you'll benefit from it. Take a, a Sunday when you got some time and just, you know, put it on the, put it on the YouTubes. And <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time. Oh, and a little trivia. I actually had to look this up myself. There's zeros and then there's zeros with an ES. And technically, I guess, according to the sources I've read online, both are correct. You can use either one. Whereas in the UK and the US, both uh, zeros without the E is the preferred spelling. Um, zero with an E usually is if you're saying like uh, the pilot zeroed in on his target or he zeroes in. Um, but yeah, either one's fine. So if anyone complains, just tell them no. <laughs> okay, bye. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course.
While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.